Hello everyone, my name is Tatiana, I'm Head of Marketing and Franca Emika and we are here today in Rotterdam at the European Robotics Forum 2022. <laughs> And this time, Franca Emika is sponsoring a hackathon challenge. Please introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Marijn and I'm from Saxion University of Applied Sciences. My name is Vlad, uh, I am the team leader of, for the University of Groningen. I'm Victor Carmona, I'm a student uh, of the Master of Systems and Control at the University of Twente. My name is Jeroen Zwanepoel, I'm a master student and most of the team is also a master student at the TU Delft. We are trying to solve the Franca challenge uh, as good as possible, because of course we want to win. We are basically trying to put all our effort into this challenge. What approach are you taking here for the challenge? We actually changed our approach this morning. Actually last night, very late last night. A lot of it is a bit ad hoc. It's a hackathon, so we only have two weeks time. Uh, issues come up, issues need to be resolved like on the go. Actually the real challenge. We divided the, the task into several subjects. Two main tasks, the control and the division the part. Uh, well, right now we kind of split every single task we can find. Everyone comes up with ideas. And how do you see this task in real industry application? Do you think it will be beneficial for the industry? It opens doors to, to really innovation, I would say, or starting points of innovation towards the, the, the industry sector. I would say using the robot was the easy part. Uh, making our implementation work was the hard part. It takes some time getting used to all the different user interfaces and API and all that kind of stuff, but I, I thought it was uh, quite intuitive, uh, actually. Yeah. It's not an easy task we gave you. Um, still, we were super happy with what we saw. We saw some really interesting approaches and super nice uh, ideas there. The winner is... Make the noise... Tim Delft. 